Noorma, do you feel like um, that is somewhat, is it true of your own practice? How do you feel like your practice has evolved? And do you think that, um, you know, uh, your particular kind of female experience has helped that, you know, um, has influenced that? Do you feel like your sort of, your classical training has influenced that? Like, I'm just curious about the kind of evolution of your own practice. Like, how did you end up at sculpture? There are many I questions think, uh, I have just asked you, sorry. <laughs> I think with uh, the paintings, like especially the imagery that, for example, the Mughals had or the, paint, the miniature paintings of the past, especially when it's related to a woman, she's either a court dancer or she's mm. fully exposed or like, yes. she's, it's very rare, at least personally, I've only seen, I think, two paintings in which the woman is the central figure. Mm. And even in miniature, they used to have this concept that you would know who a central figure in a painting is because he would be made larger. Right. And I say he, again, it's normally always the man or the king that's, you know, the central figure of the paintings. Yeah. So I think especially when I graduated and I started like, you know, after a while, I was like, okay, enough is enough. I was lucky that when we had our thesis, our teachers, member the Shabir and all, they basically told us, do whatever you want. Mm. Like, mm. We, you guys are giving your thesis because you've picked up the technique, you know what you have to do. But now you're a visual artist and like, you know, if you want to do classic miniature, stick to that. If you want to do whatever you feel like doing. Yeah. Like, you know, the world is basically. So we were encouraged. And then, you know, especially after I graduated, I took that forward. And like, I paint a lot of women. And I think that's probably, I think that definitely has something to do with it. And my yeah. women, even if I'm talking about sexuality, I always want them covered. Mm -hmm. Because I feel like, overtly you don't need to suddenly revert to the male gaze or something. Absolutely. Or like, you know, the she can say a lot more even if she's covered about, for yes. example, what she represents. And my work mm. is about the personal bag people carry.